night is young. I'm feeling frisky. I'm having a great hair day. I think the girls will come out to play and we'll see what happens. Don't wait up. All right, guys, let's go. I think you're overdressed, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> This is a great idea. I didn't want to not get prepared for the charter, but I also really wanted to leave the boat. Right. I feel like we're going to a study group. Feels good. We're going to go do our homework. Let's do this. I like that I'm on top. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my sunburn. Oh. <laughs> okay. It works for me. Yeah, I like it. This guy just looks intimidating. He is and he isn't. I think he grew up watching Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and he wants champagne wishes, caviar dreams. Uh, Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, I'm curious what, what everyone's getting into after we're done. I mean, I know what we're getting into. A bed? <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Portugal to get my visa. I wanna go to LA, California, all of those places. What about everyone else? Where are you going? I'm going back to Charleston for probably. It is funny, like, it's not the first restaurant I've seen this thingy. It's like the deep fryer. Yeah, like it's really funny. And it's homemade potatoes, so it's really good. I wonder how Matt and Kate's dinner is going right now. Okay, I'm gonna start writing this stuff down. Night one is where I would obviously do your tasting menu. Cheddar film on beet salad. I know that he does love sushi. That's a course. He even says seafood, any fresh fish caught that day. I love the wahoo. On the, on the black, black plates, plates really yep. look nice. Okay. You can do a steak tartare. Yes, because it's still raw, it's still in the theme, but it's mixing it up. Like a ceviche, a shrimp cocktail could be a really nice. Miso ginger salmon. You all so you got the same thing? No, I got the flank steak. Is that au jus? Huh? Oh, au jus? I don't know. May I? I can't eat it. Now, I'm big on table manners, and I believe you get to know someone quite well over dinner. And this chick, with her badly manicured fingers, grabs a fork and then just dips it in my gravy. What the f do you do? No, I won't eat it. I know you are. He's such a food, like, like he doesn't like anyone touching any of his food. He will not touch it. Just because you're a shit stewardess doesn't mean that I ain't gonna try and bag you. But when you make the conscious decision to f with my food, you don't, you're dead.